Jesus died for our sins. He voluntarily went to the cross and he submitted himself to that painful and torturous death on the cross, shedding his blood for our sins. God put all the sins of the world on his back and he was punished for it. And in exchange, he puts the righteousness of Christ on our backs. For those of us who want to come in alignment and receive that gift. And after Jesus was killed on the cross, that wasn't the end of the story. After three days, he was raised up, just as he predicted. And uh, for 40 days, he appeared to the disciples and up to 400 people, declaring the kingdom of God. And he appeared after his death. And then he went back to be with the Father. And he told his disciples to go into all nations and preach the, preach the gospel to all creatures. But he said, but wait for the Holy Spirit to be poured out. The Holy Spirit will give you power and wisdom to be able to do that task that I just gave you. And so 10 days later, the Holy Spirit was poured out on the day of Pentecost. And uh, all the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit. So Peter once preached to the people that crucified Jesus, and he explained to them that they had actually crucified the Messiah, the Son of God, and he proved it through scriptures. They were cut to the heart, and they said, what can we do to be saved? What, who could sin more than to crucify and kill the Son of God? But Peter uh, had an answer for them. He said, every one of you repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins and then you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. You see, repentance is simply turning back to God, <laughs> saying, I'm tired of running my own way. I'm tired of doing things my own way and, and rebelling against the ways of God. I'm gonna turn back to God. Lord, forgive me for my sins. I've sinned against you, I've rebelled against you. And baptism into Jesus Christ is identifying Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. When you go under that water of baptism, in full faith of Jesus Christ, you're burying your old life and you're coming up to a brand new creation, a brand new life. And then the Lord fills you with his Holy Spirit, his presence here on earth, the same spirit that was in Jesus when he raised the dead, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead can live inside of you, can give you that boldness, that strength, that wisdom, that supernatural power by just letting him uh, reside in you. This is when, from this point forward, you can walk as a new creation and uh, as a new identity in Christ. You're no longer an enemy of God, but you're now a child of God. What a difference. Getting back to the brother who came up for prayer. A number of years ago, uh, we did uh, take him through these steps of surrender. He was ready. And uh, this was not in a formal church setting. It was not uh, through some kind of program or membership to a church. This was just getting him into the kingdom of God. And uh, me and a couple other brothers and sisters met at home and we explained the gospel to him. And he was ready to give his life to Christ. And so he went back through his past and repented of those things that he had done in his life. And those times that he was rebelling against God and just told the Lord he was sorry and that he needed his strength to be in alignment with him. And he repented, not just a gen generic thing, forgive me for my sins, but actually going through detailed and just laying his heart out before the Lord, crying out for the Lord to save him. And then we filled up a bathtub full of water and he was baptized right there in the home in the name of Jesus. And uh, he came up out of that water a new creation. And then we went downstairs and we laid hands on him to receive the Holy Spirit, just like they did in the Bible, just like they did in the book of Acts. Have you repented? Have you gone back and thought about all of those times that you uh, sinned against the Lord? Find someone, just another Christian brother or sister. It doesn't have to be through a formal church. It can be, and that's fine. It doesn't have to be. It can be just someone that can get in the water with you and uh, baptize you into the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Baptize you to Jesus Christ where you're dying with Christ and raising up with Christ. And then praying for you to receive the Holy Spirit. Now make sure the person baptizing you has the Holy Spirit. Make sure they're born again. 
that's really the only prereq. Any of you that have been born again, truly born again into the kingdom of God, walk as the son of God. You are an adopted son or an adopted daughter, and uh, you have a new identity. New identity is in Christ. You're not who you used to be. You're a new creation.